Welcome, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we're going to have an unboxing video uh, looking at a pair of Adelaides that I picked up from CNES. Looking forward to it. Hey, I've organized all my playlists on this channel so that you're able to easily find different types of shoes, different brands of shoes, as well as uh, finding all my shoe battles, uh, worth the price shoe reviews, etc., all in one place. Enjoy. Welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we have another unboxing. Um, I active on a lot of Facebook groups, and uh, as I was going through some of the uh, old posts, I found a pair of uh, CNES out of Vietnam uh, that were for sale out of a, a dealer in Singapore, and so I uh, they were really really great sales. So I thought I'd give them a try. Uh, this isn't uh, the kind of thing that um, you can just go buy, so um, I'm not going to have a uh, a link to it, but uh, um, these were a pair of Adelaide's that was out there, and I think I spent, you know, $120 delivered. So it was very, very inexpensive. And I've, I've looked at CNAS for a long time, and I wanted to give it a try. So um, I wanted to, uh, to see, what, see what it's all about. So in the box, single shoe bag. Um, so uh, the, the quality of the shoe bag, very flimsy, nice uh, pleather kind of thing. On there with the uh, the little CNES compass, but as I as I look to it, let's take a look at what it is now. Now the shoes themselves are wrapped pretty well. You have some bubble wrap in there. You got a little uh, piece of foam in between them. Um, so let's take a look at what they are. Okay, and for basically an eighty dollar pair of shoes, um, you know the the leather seems kind of thin, um, but I don't really uh, know. Uh, sole work it's actually quite nice look at that you know you got a really slight bevel uh, but you definitely have a blind stitch on there uh, so that's nice so try to take the uh, paper out of this so I can get a feel for it um, the lining on this uh, appears to be veg tanned um, the outside of this leather it, it feels not sure. I, I, I'm not sure if I see any variation in the leather. So this may be a, like a top grain. And I'm not sure if that's got like a perma shine on it. Uh, you don't usually see correct grain in this color, but um, definitely don't see the, uh, um, the, the, what you'd normally see in terms of, uh, um, uh, you know, just the, the variation in the leather. Well, you do have some. So again, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to decide, you know, how are these? You know, I will go to CNES and I will get a, uh, 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 a screenshot there for, for you. So you can see kind of, if you buy direct, um, how much they are. Um, I can tell you from experience, I tried to buy a pair of CNES once. Um, they had like a super, super sale on them. And they told me, that the size I needed was um, not one that they made. <laughs> so that, uh, that that was a bit of a, a shock for me. So, um, you know, I took a little bit of a risk on these, but the dealer assured me that they would fit um, because he said that these are like a double E width. Um, so um, it's a 44 um, versus what they had said I needed like a 46, um, which they don't make. Um, but he said that because it's wide um, and I sent him the measurements of my foot. Um, he said that that would be okay. So, so again, I, I will have to try that out and I will see. And, you know, I, I've run into this before with another shoe where they polished it so well, um, you know, at the factory that it just came across as being um, kind of like a bad leather. And then when I stripped it down afterwards, I realized it was nice leather. So um, this may in fact be the same thing. Um, and sometimes people like to, especially, um, you know, a dealer will like to put a nice high shine on the whole shoe. Um, and it looks nice like this, but it doesn't wear very well. And so um, I tend to take that off right away. So you can see the, uh, the youth road on here is very attractive looking. Um, and then uh, it's absolutely clean the rest of the way around, just the tab. And of course, these fantastic soles. Now, this is not a fiddle bag, right? I mean, this has a slight bevel almost like there's like a wood shank in there and they just stretched the, the sole over it. 
Um, it is a narrow waist shoe, which is which is nice. Uh, no nail work. Um, when I look on the outside of this, um, there's a pattern to the outside of the edge, but I don't I don't think that it's fudging. So I'll do a worth the price video and um, take a deeper look at it after I get it cleaned up. But from an unboxing perspective, um, you know these uh for for eighty bucks they they certainly look great, and I believe that you know normal price on these would be about uh, two hundred or two hundred and fifty, um, which uh, you know still not a bad deal even if this is like a corrected grain leather. So uh, this is uh that's it for now, um, and let me know your thoughts. Thanks. So welcome back. Uh, See, I've changed clothes. It's been a couple of days. I've spent some time on the shoes. And as uh, you can see, there's a pretty big difference in the shoe after you take all of the polish off. And, uh, you know, it still has a pretty decent shine to it. Um, I used um, pure polish uh, cleaner conditioner, and um, I did not add any other wax to it. Um, and it's really, it's one of the best things that I have for just stripping old polish off and um, just getting to the actual feel of what's underneath. So let's take a look here, right? This is, you can see the variation in the leather, okay? Just in the, in the lighting, you can see it. That means that this is full grain leather. And so as you, as you look through it, now I heard that uh, from, from some of the folks on um, different forums, that uh, it's actually easier to get full grain leather than it is to get top grain um, in, in Vietnam where the shoes are made. And, and I think that that's a, that's a really fascinating um, thing. But um, you know, the, the look of plasticky is gone. And what's left is a really good basic, um, you know, full grain leather shoe uh, with some great design, some, some nice workmanship. And uh, you know this really really cool sole. Now I went on the inside and I looked at it, and this is a Blake stitch shoe. Now that is uh, instead of using a um, sole stitcher, which actually stitches on the outside, of the shoe like this, you actually stitch on the inside, okay? Um, and you can see the stitching on the inside of the insole, and that is um, a Blake stitch or a McKay stitch, right? Uh, so that is. Um, the way that they're put together. Uh, these are a 44. And if you look at CNES website uh, for my size, it says I should have a 46 or 48. Um, but uh, I uh, had my, um, I, I sent my measurements to the dealer um, and he measured out the shoes and said, you know, these are probably fit. And while they were a little tight when I first put them on, um, they are a double E width. So um, uh, the fact that my feet are, are wide anyway, um, it was okay, um, and um, my feet are not that long. It's mostly I'm trying to get it for instep, and you can see that the uh, um, the shoes are bending in the right place as a 44, um, and so um, all in all, pretty happy with the way they turned out. So that is uh, that is the CNES, the A1AM. Um, it for you know 88 bucks, you can't go wrong. Uh, they're obviously not going to be around at that price forever. This was like a special that somebody just had old stock. Um, but, uh, you know, for, for the normal price, uh, they seem like a, uh, a pretty good entry level, um, you know, high grade, high quality shoes. So uh, definitely something to uh, keep your eye on. I will let you know. Uh, we'll do some, uh, some, some follow-up videos as, as we go. Uh, the, usual, the usual stuff, right? I'll, I'll probably do like a maiden voyage video. I'll do a video on um, you know how the um, I'll, I'll do a worth the price video to, to really actually dig into them. And then um, after I've had them for, for a while, um, I'll do a circle back as well. So thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day.